Okay, I've got Jake Gillenall here. He's going to sell you some bonds, all right? Hey, he, lo he looks like Jake Gillenall, too. It's actually real good. Salemo, can you spot up the 10 year on the Alcoas? Tell Rich he's, he's done. He's in. It's done. Let's go 50,000 same way. Perfect. Perfect? Good deal. Um, so, just a few questions. Yep. Is this your first time here? It is. So why are you here? So it's September 11th. Can you tell me a little bit about what this day means to you and why you chose to be here yeah. at Kenner Fitzgerald? No, this is not Lucy K. I'm right. sorry. <laughs> you got Steve the semi, all right? <laughs> no, he can't come to the phone right now. Wait a minute. I like this question. Why are we here? I'll tell you why we're here. We're all here to help each other. You know, on 9-11, um, as awful and terrible as that tragedy was, I didn't meet a New Yorker that day that wasn't looking for a way to help. What I appreciate what Cantor Fitzgerald does is that every 9-11, every year, they try and recapture that spirit where New Yorkers come together and help each other. I don't remember many events that have happened in my life that I, I know exactly where I was, what I was doing, and how it made me feel. And I'm Australian, I was on the other side of the earth. I'm from here, born in Jamaica Hospital, Queens. I'm a complete New Yorker. I live in Tribeca. I was, you know, five blocks from the World Trade Center. You know, all of a sudden you realize how what we did for a living was so insignificant. I was in the sixth grade. My mother worked at One Liberty Plaza. For everyone, September 11th was personal. This bow tie was bought on 9-11. Okay. I wear it once a year. What an honor to be here. Honoring the memory of the, the workers who died, 658 Kenneth jail workers, and, and donating money to various charities. And this company has donated $280 million since 9-11. We are so proud of all of you giving up your commissions and salaries and everything else in order to do really, really good in the world. Before this becomes a day of uplifting and joy and spirit, we ring a bell to remember those that we love, and then we will go and help the 150 plus charities that we take care of. Legacy. How could these men and women be memorialized in a way that would pay back the good that was done to us in the wake of 9-11? We came up with Charity Day. We would give 100% of the revenues at Cantor Fitzgerald and BGC Partners to all the charities that were important to our employees and our clients. We come in and we do sales. Coming this fall, Steve Buscemi, Whoopi Goldberg, and Dulé Hill in the critically acclaimed Kenner Fitzgerald. Five million. That seems a little small to me. I don't know. Uh, it's charity day. Is that it? Come on, it's charity day. Being an actor, I probably should have done more research. I don't know anything about right. trades. This is the most foreign place in the world to me. I closed so many deals. I'm shocked. It was so easy. If you want to talk baseball, I'll talk baseball <laughs> with you. But they're talking MGI, 400 million shares, whatever. I could get into this. It's easy, right? <laughs> Look at the excitement on the trading floor. I mean, today they're smiling. They're having fun. Half of them don't know who I am, but they get to meet all these sports guys. The Red Sox fan, we make them buy more. The uh, beautiful lady, she closed a billion dollar deal, so I'm like, of course, you know, Johnny Damon may not be able to do that. I had no idea people traded that much money just, just before, you know, before lunchtime. It's crazy. You get to um, learn a little something, actually probably nothing at all, <laughs> and uh, get in there and be made fun of a bit. There were times that I thought that I was selling and I was actually buying, so I'm learning. This is my first time here and I'm having an absolute blast. Sean, how you doing? It's President Barack Obama. I don't know what I'm saying, Sally, so <laughs> just please buy the thing. If you can't close the deal on Charity Day, um, you, you're not very good. I didn't have any rejections over the phone, I will tell you. It feels good. I know we're making money for charity, and that's all that matters. I can't imagine a better way on this day to do what we're doing, for them to get outside of themselves and the pain and the loss, and to find a creative, fun, you know, Walt Frazier's walking by. We've got to do that. He said, why not? <laughs> I can't think of why not. That's perfect. Let's do it. Around this time of year, we all sort of get into this weird funk again. And knowing that I get to come here and do something across the board good changes my feelings. This is very much a part of the city's fabric and the financial world's fabric now. I watched the, the morning show from, from that day as, as it was unfolding. And I feel it's just an observance that, that, that I feel compelled to, to, to make every, every year. And then I followed up with this. 
and it and it's so great. It's so it's so affirming. It's such a meaningful way to to go forward. It's great for the city. It's great for the world. I want to live in that grace. I want to be in that grace. You got to find a way in which you fit. Kenneth Fitzgerald found that, and it helped them not to get over a traumatic experience that you can't even describe, but it helped them to put it in the right place. I do appreciate that nobody says that's already old hat. The commitment is not going to change. I'll be here next year again. People who worked at Canada for Sterling, the people who were killed that day were beautiful people with great families, with beautiful wives and husbands and children and parents. These were just wonderful human beings who lived vibrant lives. I've had the opportunity to meet and interact with so many people who have taken their own personal grief and done spectacular things in the world. And sometimes the most spectacular thing that they can do in the face of a trauma and a tragedy is get out of bed and take care of somebody else. If you can find something larger than yourself to focus on, it will help you heal and you will be able to do great things in the world. Going through life, it's very difficult to do it alone. You've got to be a good teammate and you expect a little help. Having this as a memorial, I know I'm proud to be here to be a part of it just for a day. Be very thankful and be appreciative of those before us. So they may be gone, but they're not forgotten.